Support Name Explained on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. Argentina, the nation named after silver. It's the home of the tango, delicious wine and meat, Diego Maradona and his divine appendage. Even the ballpoint pen has its origin in this land. Argentina is a country with a population of over 45 million people and a land mass of over 2.78 million kilometers square. With that many people and that much land, it's easy to see why Argentina is split into many smaller areas, like most places on our planet. In the case of the Argentine Republic, to give the nation its correct name, it is split into areas called provinces. In total, Argentina is split into 23 provinces. Each of these provinces have their own image, culture, and of course, name. These names derive from a variety of roots, from the nation's native past to its European settlers, though be prepared to hear me say San slash Santo an awful lot. Those Argentinian slash Spanish colonizers sure love their saints. So today we're looking into how the provinces of Argentina got their names. Let's start at the top of the nation with Argentina's northernmost province, Jujuy. From what I can gather, this province's name derives from the Inca who inhabited this land before European colonizers arrived. This name comes from a Quechua word, which was a title given to the Inca rulers of this province. So it's a province named after the title of its former ruler. As we venture south, we arrive in the province of Solita. This is a province where there are actually a few theories as to where the name came from. One idea is that the name derives from a native tribe there called the Salatas, while another idea is that it means crag place in Quechua, perhaps meaning a craggy place, as in craggy rocks. Though another idea is that it means very beautiful in the Aymara language. This theory is popular as it gives the province a very positive name meaning, and it looks very beautiful there indeed. The next province of Formosa shares its name with its largest city, and both the city as well as the province have their name definitively deriving from Spanish, coming from the Spanish word for beautiful, once again because this part of the country is bathed in natural beauty. However, speakers of Spanish might be feeling a little bit confused right now, because Formosa isn't actually the Spanish word for beautiful, Hermosa is instead. Well, this word was spelt with an F instead of an H in Spanish's past, e.g. the time this province received this name. This isn't the only part of the world that bears this name, however. Noticeably, Taiwan bared this name in its past, specifically being called Ilha Formosa, meaning beautiful island. As we continue, we arrive in the province of Catamarca. This is another name of native origins, either Quechua or Aymala. The Quechua etymology has it meaning fortress on the slope, while the Aymala etymology has it meaning small town. Whichever is correct, it seems that this province was named after some kind of man-made construct. Tucumán sounds a little bit like the name of a Tucumán-themed superhero, which by the way would be awesome, Marvel, drop me a DM or I'll take it to image, but it is of course the name of an Argentine province. As to where this name came from? Well, the popular idea is that it comes from the Quechua term of Yucaman, meaning place of origin of several rivers, due to multiple rivers meeting here. Though there's also the belief that it comes from the word Tukma, meaning the end of things, as this region was once the Inca Empire's outer limit. Santiago del Estelo is of course a Spanish name, with Santiago meaning Saint James. Like I said, they love a saint. Del means of, so the name means Saint James of Estelo, with Estelos supposedly being a name for larger bodies of water that used to be here. This province, however, also shares its name with a city within it of the same name, which was actually the first city settled by the Spanish in the region that would become Argentina. The province of Chaco seems to get its name from a larger area of land that is a part of that goes into other nations too, the Gran Chaco. This is a sparsely populated wilderness that spreads into parts of Bolivia and Paraguay as well as Argentina. While not many humans live here, many animals do, and it's from these animals as to where the name is thought to come from, as Chaco is believed to mean hunting grounds in Quechua. Colientes is another province named after its largest city 
with this city's name simply meaning currents in the Guarani language. I imagine this comes from the strong currents of the Panama River that runs through this city and the province. The province of Misiones is a small alcove of land in the nation's northeast. This name comes from the Spanish word for missions. This is because of the Jesuit missions that took place across this land in the 17th and 18th centuries. The province of La Rioja is unsurprisingly a name of Spanish creation. I say unsurprisingly because the nation of Spain itself also has a province of this exact same name. It seems this Argentine province slash the largest city within it were named directly after the Spanish one, with the Spanish province being named after the Rio Oya, a river that runs through it. The province of San Juan is once again Spanish and once again saintly in origins, with San Juan simply meaning Saint John in English. This is of course not the only San Juan on our globe. Puerto Rico's capital bears this name too. The province of Cordoba, like La Rioja, is too named after somewhere in Spain, that being the city of Cordoba in the nation's south. It received this name from one Jolonimo Luis de Cabela, a Spanish conquistador who came across this land and founded the Argentinian city of Cordoba, which the province grew around. Many of these provinces are named after cities within them, so apologies if I don't mention that outright in every case. Another name that appears all across the Spanish-speaking world is Santa Fe. There are Santa Fe's in Spain itself, as well as nations like Mexico, Panama, Honduras, Ecuador, Cuba, the USA, and even the Philippines. Argentina is no different. Santa Fe is the name of a province and its largest city in the nation of Argentina, and the name simply means holy faith, coming from religious roots once again. The province of Entre Rios is too Spanish, and once again we see the word of Rios meaning river. The Entre part before it however means between, as this province is nestled between a variety of rivers it seems. The province of San Luis is of course named after St. Louis, which means it technically has the same name as the popular city in the US state of Missouri. The real St. Louis that many places are named after was actually King Louis IX of France, who reigned from 1226 to 1270. He seems to have gone down better in the history books than a certain other French King Louis it seems. The Argentine province of Mendoza is named after someone, but in this case not a saint, which is a change of pace. The province is in instead named after Don Garcia Hortedo de Mendoza, who was actually the governor of Chile. This might seem odd, but in the past, the area of land named Chile that was ruled by the Spanish stretched into modern day Argentina too. Mendoza! The province of La Pampa is a lot like the province of Chaco, in the fact it is named after a larger area of land that spreads into other nations. The Pampas cover a large area of South America and comprise of sparsely populated lowlands. The name of Pampa comes from Quechuan roots and simply means plain, as these are the plains of South America. We then arrive at the province of Buenos Aires, which houses the nation's capital city of the same name. This province is not not only the nation's largest in size, but also in population. Of course, this province is named after the capital, so how did the city receive this name? This name is Spanish and means good air slash fair winds. Why it is named after this, however, there seems to be a few theories. The most popular theory is because the area where the old city was established was on swampland, which attracted mosquitoes and in turn, malaria, meaning the air was pretty bad, to say the least. Then, Years later when the city began to expand, ports were established where the air was good and not rife with bugs and disease. This bug-free atmosphere is believed to be the good airs that the capital is named after. As we venture further south down the nation, we arrive in the province of Nguyen. This province is named after a river that runs through it. As to how this river got its name, it seems to come from a Mapadongan word meaning drafty. Perhaps the winds on this river are quite irksome. Though a bonus fact, this province's name is also a palindrome. Well, if we ignore the accent on the second E that is. 
Anyway, anyone with a slight understanding of Spanish will probably be able to understand how the province of Rio Negro got its name. It of course means the Black River, and this Black River runs across this province, named most likely due to the darkness of its waters. The province of Chubut, however, has a name meaning quite the opposite of Rio Negro. This province comes from the Chubut River, with this river's name come from the Toholichi word of Chupat, which means transparent. This is because the waters of this river were seen as being remarkably clear, like I said, pretty darn different to the waters of the Black River. Deeper into the nation's south, we arrive at the province of Santa Cruz, another one of the many Santa Cruzes on our planet, with this name meaning Holy Cross. Argentina's final province lies at the curved tip of South America. It has the cumbersome name of Tierra del Fuego, Antarctica and South Atlantic Islands, though it's often shortened to just Tierra del Fuego. The latter part of this name exists because this province includes the nation's islands in the South Atlantic and even the Antarctic claim. The Tierra del Fuego part of this name, however, means land or fire, which supposedly comes from the fires natives lit here in the past for war. Oomph. Argentina really is a land with a huge amount of diversity, from the plains of La Pampa, the bustling cities like Buenos Aires, to the freezing depths of Tierra del Fuego. It has huge diversity in its history too, from the various native tribes in the land to its Spanish settlers. And all of this diversity can be seen perfectly clearly in the names of its 23 provinces. The provinces of Argentina were suggested by Ecmolus Cano, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as name explains patron saint of the provinces of Argentina. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running, and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explain Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain, and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and also join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain, both of which will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.